Today we will perform the comparative tests of emergency position indicating radio beacon, which is intended to detect and locate the boats, aircrafts and people in distress. We have two EPIRBs. One is manufactured by ACR and the second one is by McMurdo. EPIRBs shall be tested at intervals not exceeding 12 months for all aspects of operational efficiency with particular emphasis on frequency stability, signal strength and coding. Today we will check all these parameters. We need to perform electrical tests to confirm the APR is operational as defined in appropriate performance standards. And for these purposes we require the suitable test equipment, APR tester. Complete volume of the test are described in IMO Circular 1040. Today we have three testers. The first one is Tron Unidec made by Jotron. Second one is Eperop Tester and the third is Eperop Tester Mini made by Muson Marine Company. Our main task is to measure the frequencies, power levels and decode Caspasar SAT message content of each Eperop. First of all, let's turn on all of our testers and switch them to the proper test mode. Tron Unidec requires connection to PC to provide measurements. Actually, we need a PC with COM port, so let's find one and connect it with the help of the proper cable. Now we need to run the software and Tron Unidec is ready to provide measurements. Now let's turn on the e tester of Muson Marine. To do so, we need to select the measure menu the source and the proper frequency channel. It's ready for measurements. Now let's turn on EPIRB tester mini. To do so I will go to menu, perform tests and push start new test button. Now it's ready for measurement. I take one of our EPIRBs and place it to Recommend a distance of 1 to 5 meters. Then I should turn it to test mode, which is strongly recommended for testing purposes. We see it's emitting the signal. Ok, let's check the results. Now we see that all three testers received the signal successfully. We see full hex message, frequency in megahertz, power level in decibels and we should press decode data button to see the full Cospaster SAT message content. We see the 15 hex ID, protocol type, MMSI code, country code, beacon number of the vessel. Then we see the meaning of the power level in channel, frequency meaning, then complete Caspasar set message in hex, phase deviation meanings, then time of preamble, and total time of transmission in milliseconds. So we see frequency in kilohertz, power level in dBm, full hex code, 15 hex code ID, country code, MMSI code and other decoded Cospaster set message content. We have successfully tested Cospaster SAT channel. Now let's test homing signal on frequency 121.5 MHz. Unfortunately, this tool of Jotron doesn't allow us to measure homing signal on frequency 121.5 MHz, so we skip the test. Okay, 
Let's turn the testers to the proper test mode. Press measure menu, then select the source, then test channel 121. So let's go to menu, press perform tests, select test 121 MHz channel and start new test. We have heard audio control of signal presence and now we see measured frequencies and power levels by both testers. So now we have all data required to create test reports and confirm that the perps passed annual test and can be used in emergency situation. Let's create test report uh, by Tron Unidec. To do so, we need to run the software, enter the vessel details, then we should click the code data button. Uh, we see the test results and we should save report. For example, we we'll give it a name. Okay, that's now created, so we can run the browser and see the results. Report is, report is made in HTML format. Now let's create a test report made by ePerp tester. To do so, we need a laptop, we need a beacon tester and common USB cable to connect to computer. Okay, it's ready. Then we need to run the software. Then we need to press download data button, press OK. We see the results are downloaded. Now we should complete the fields concerning the vessel details. After that, we can create several types of certificates. The annual test report, the shore-based maintenance. For example, we can do the shore-based maintenance test report. Let's save it. Okay, let's check what we have. Here is a test report of shore based maintenance made by ePerp tester. So let's go to test results. Select the last measurement and just input vessel details and press annual report. It's ready. Here are the certificates generated by test tools. The annual test is passed. Don't forget to replace batteries and hydrostatic release units. All used testers are designed to perform the same tasks, ensure that EPERB will operate in distress situation. But they are offered in different forms. One is smaller, the other is bigger. One requires PC to operate and other doesn't. And only you can choose what is most suitable in your everyday job and make your life easy. We hope all this was useful for you.